What's up gang? Today we're going to go over the dual oscillator function of the analog rhythm make two with a focus on the FM and ring modulation. Here we go. Okay, so we are back with the analog rhythm make two from Electron. And uh, before we get started, I would like to remind you guys to go down there and subscribe. Um, hit the bell if uh, you want to get some notifications. We're going to talk about the dual VCO for the uh, voices along this bottom row. So basically what this is, is um, for the analog engine for the machine on any of these bottom pads, you will see that you have the option of dual VCO, which means dual voltage controlled oscillator. So this is an actual analog synth built right in to your analog rhythm. So this is a mono synth, just like all of the voices on here are mono. Um, and what this is, is uh, you can have them on these three, or these four pads. However, it ends up being a three voice synth uh, total if you spread it out across all of the pads. The reason that there's only three instead of four is because this is a choke group, which means you can only sound one of these at a time. So you can have a dual VCO on one, two, and three. Um, so to get started, you can uh, just select a pad and then double click on source. There's dual VCO. And we're going to start um, by looking at this configuration and talk about what is going on here. Um, to make things a little simpler today, uh, I'm going to go ahead and record my screen. Uh, what we're using is an oscilloscope within Max for Live by Ryan Ritchie. Uh, you can just Google oscilloscope M4L and find that. That's how I got it. Um, and also today what I'm going to be doing is triggering um, this voice um, on channel 2 here uh, with uh, my controller. If you look under over here on this configuration, um, this is uh, the waveforms. And you can see that um, just above the number there at the bottom, there's like a, a line underneath or a or no line underneath. So there's one. So basically what this is, is if the line is underneath, that means that the, uh, the oscillator resets every time that it's triggered. Um, and then if it has no line under it, that means it's a free running oscillator. Um, next to that, we have a pitch bend and this will uh, be like uh, if that starts below and then bends up to the note. And then if you put it over here, it's the opposite. It starts at the top and bends down to the note. And you'll notice that sounds a lot like a drum. Because uh, that's basically the same thing as a sweep time. Um, then over here we have the balance, and the balance is between the uh, oscillator 1 and oscillator 2. So if you turn all the way counterclockwise, we have the uh, oscillator 1. So that's just oscillator 1. And then this would be oscillator two. So that's just the detune. It's, uh... Then uh, this is, of course, the overall level for this voice. Um, and 
And then up top we have the tune and the detune. So this is oscillator one, oscillator two. And then we have the decay time for oscillator one and oscillator two. Now this is kind of cool. I don't know too many synths, or I can't think of any offhand that allow the uh, uh, oscillator one and two to have individual decay times. Um, but you can. So let's try this. some nice kind of bell sounds with that happening. So the configuration for these voices, um, there are like 80 different um, configurations that you can use. Uh, and you can see that there's a plus in between those two waveforms. That just means it's a mix of those two. So you're fading between them. R means ring modulation. And then F is for frequency modulation. And then if you go even further, you'll see that there's frequency modulation with ring modulation. So you can get some pretty complex tones out of this and uh, some really rich sounds. So the frequency modulation, let's talk about that. Basically, there are 19 different FM configurations as well as 19 different ring configurations and 19 different ring and FM configurations. Oscillator 1 has two waveforms, and those waveforms are sine and what um, Electron is calling a sine saw. And then on oscillator 2, we have five different waveforms available. So in addition to the sine, and the sine saw, we have a, a skewed sine. There's also, let's see, triangle and just the saw. So let's go into this frequency modulation. So the way this frequency modulation works, if you'll uh, turn the balance all the way to oscillator one, So that, um, and then if you turn the detune on oscillator two, it makes no effect. So what you wanna do is turn your balance all the way to oscillator two, and then when you, so now that detunes, but you'll also notice that oscillator one is your carrier. It's also important to note that these don't, uh, it doesn't like track 100%. So the cool thing about FM is there's a, there's a lot of room for variation in these sounds. So you can change the sound just by altering the balance. alter the sound by uh, changing the, the carrier tune. Let's put that one down seven. This is the decay for oscillator two. Which is cool. Because you can make it just like little attacks.
So, you know, I'm just using my controller keyboard, but you can also, of course, hit the pads and you can use a chromatic. So, of course, these things all lend themselves to like uh, parameter locking all of these things. Very cool. And of course you can use the different types of filters to get different sounds. Sweep. The sweep works better. The cut. So that's just the uh, the FM. However, this FM with ring mod uh, sounds really awesome.
Okay, so that wraps up this video about the FM and ring modulation on the dual VCO uh, synth voice on the Analog Rhythm Make 2. Uh, I just want to say thank you for watching. Uh, I really appreciate all of the views and subscribes and likes and comments. Um, if you leave me a comment, I will get back to you. And I hope that you find these useful. And I'm going to put up some videos over here, maybe a little subscribe thing over here. I don't know. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Peace.